Welcome, Baltz families, to this week's Sunday Storytime. Get ready to mark your calendars with this week's news and coming events, which will be followed by a new story for the week. Can't wait to find out what it is. And the final segment will be our Mindful Minute with Mrs. Papa. Stay tuned. In this week's events at Baltz, Baltz celebrates Black history. Throughout February, we're going to be learning about the achievements and contributions of African Americans throughout our history. Baltz celebra el mes de la historia negra. Estaremos aprendiendo sobre los logros y contribuciones sobre afroamericanos durante nuestra historia. The Cupcake Wars presentation is happening on Friday, February 11th at 6. Be sure to check your email for the link. La presentación de Cupcakes sucederá el viernes 11 de febrero a las 6 de la tarde. Verifique su correo electrónico para el enlace. There is no school on Friday, February 18th because it's parent-teacher conferences. Conferences will be scheduled in the evening on the 17th or during the day on the 18th. No hay clases el 18 de febrero, ya que es el día de conferencias de padres y maestros. Las conferencias serán el 17 en la tarde y durante el día el 18. There is no school on Monday, February 21st because it's President's Day. No school for President's Day. No hay clases el lunes 21 de febrero, ya que es el día de los presidentes. Good evening, Baltz families, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Storytime. My name is Sophia Hughes, and I am Miss Delaware, June 10, 2021. To kick off Black History Month, tonight I will be reading Juneteenth, A Children's Story by Opal Lane, illustrated by Peter Biska. The children ask, Grand dear Opal Lane, what does this say? Juneteenth. A children's story. That's the title of the book, she replied. Grandier, can you please read this book to us? Over 200 years ago, people who looked like me were slaves. Someone may have read to you the stories from the Bible about slaves in Egypt, but they were not like these slaves. Men from this country and other countries stole people in Africa from their fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. They chained them up and brought them across the ocean in ships. That's a lot of water and a very long trip. Some did not make it. The enslaved Africans were forced to work very hard for no pay and were not treated fairly. Life was not good for them. There was a U.S. president, like President Barack Obama, named Abraham Lincoln, who declared slaves would be free on January 1st 1863. This was called the Emancipation Proclamation. The enslaved waited at the churches all night long on New Year's Eve to see how freedom would come. These were called watch night services and many churches still hold them today. The United States was so big that Texas did not get enforcement of the Emancipation Proclamation for two and a half years after slavery had ended. U.S. colored troops and Major General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas, and on June 19th, 1865 read general order number three to the people that were there then he nailed it to the door of what is now reedy chapel ame church general granger declared all slaves are free 
the slaves were so happy that they started celebrating. And we've been celebrating ever since. Every year since, there have been celebrations and the formerly enslaved put on their best clothes dressed to the nines to celebrate their freedom. This day was called Juneteenth and is celebrated in the United States and around the world. Each year on the 19th of June, people celebrate the ending of slavery with festivals, concerts, and educational activities. There are 47 states that observe Juneteenth as a hub. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of Sunday Storytime. Have a great week. Opali was born October 7th, 1926 in Marshall, Texas. She earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in 1953 from Wally College, now Wally University. She returned to school and obtained her master's degree in counseling and guidance from North Texas State University and served as home counselor for Fort Worth Independent School District until she retired in 1977. Her greatest passion has been helping to ensure her city remembers Juneteenth by hosting a community celebration for over 40 years. In 2016, at 90 years old of age, she launched a walking campaign to Washington, D.C. to bring awareness of the need for Juneteenth to be a national day of observance. and welcome back to another episode of Mindful Minute. This week we are going to practice a new mindfulness exercise and it is called Stop and Smell the Roses. To stop and smell the roses, imagine smelling a beautiful flower. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. This week, stop and smell the roses. If you have any big and uncomfortable feelings, join us next week for another episode of Mindful Minute. Hi, Bolts Bears. It's me, Miss Rooney. I teach second grade. I'm here with this week's big question. From the story, what day do we celebrate Juneteenth? Don't forget to submit your answers by Wednesday to the blue boxes in the hallways. Oh, and one more thing. We now have a prize cart for the big question. It has books, arts and crafts, and a lot of other fun things. Good luck and have a great week. It's Miss Persami. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you rock.